This is Sandy Glenn and her husband, Drew. Passed out in her home this morning. GCS 15, vital stable. I'm Elsa Curry, third year medical student. Uh, can you tell me what happened? Uh, I was just making some tea, then suddenly I saw stars. I found her on the floor. Has this ever happened before? No. But she does have multiple sclerosis, uh, relapsing, remitting. Could it be the start of a new episode? Yeah, it's possible. Any other symptoms, visual disturbances, pain, incontinence? Uh, no, nothing like that. OK. Uh, transfer on my count. One, two, three. OK. Yeah, you've also got some dry skin, marked pallor, and some peripheral edema. Have you been losing any weight? Maybe a little, but not much. All right, then my attending and I uh, are gonna order a full set of labs and have Neuro come down to take a look. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so anemic, hypoglycemic, uh, low vitamin B12 and calcium, EKG changes. Hmm, that ain't good. But it doesn't look like an exacerbation of her MS. No, nope, it looks like anorexia, but she's not underweight. Which doesn't necessarily exclude the disorder. Let's go say hi. I'm Dr. Charles. Ms. Curry wanted me to, uh, to say a quick hello. Were my test results bad? We're worried about your nutrition. Have you been experiencing any digestive issues or decreased appetite? No. No? OK, that's good. Are you concerned about your weight at all, or, or even, say, your appearance in general? I'm not anorexic. I have a tapeworm. A tapeworm? Yes, I infected myself on purpose for my MS. There's this thing called helminthic therapy. Yeah, for autoimmune diseases, it's, it's really cutting edge. You've heard of it? Yes, uh, basically the hypothesis is that a worm infestation can activate your immune system to fight against certain conditions. You know, there's actually quite a few centers that are doing clinical trials. Oh, she couldn't get into any of them. Have you discussed this with your neurologist? Because there are several new therapies for MS. Immunomodulators. Steroids, um... cytoxin. I've tried everything. But since I started this, I haven't had an episode in three months. Really? OK, what is your normal remission rate? Because anything longer than two standard deviations, and we could probably publish a case study. Um, could you excuse us for a second, Ms. Curry? Ms. Curry, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but these trials are held under strict medical supervision. She's doing it on her own. I know, but this is the front line of immunotherapy. I mean, we could find a positive result. That woman passed out today from malnourishment. That's what we're treating here. Or we can work with her. We, we can modify her diet. We can, we can give her higher calorie food. The patient has a parasite, and it is clearly undermining her health. Dr. Charles, I really Let's start with 400 milligrams of malbenazole and hang a liter of D5W. Thanks. Mm-hmm. OK, so um, if you email me the details, I'll follow up with you in a week, and we can take it from there. Ms. Curry? What are you doing? She wanted to be discharged. She's severely anemic. She could pass out before she gets to the parking lot. I mean, I scheduled a visit with a nutritionist, and I'm going to monitor her closely. Miss Glenn, you're aware that this worm puts you at risk of pancreatitis, heart disease, arrhythmia. I know, but it's the only thing that's helped my MS. Trust me, correlation is not necessarily causation. What does that mean? He doesn't think that the absence of MS symptoms is related to the tapeworm. Not what I said. <laughs> Whether it's helping you or not, the side effects are seriously endangering your health. I don't agree. I know how I feel, and I'm going home. Well, then I'm sorry you leave me no choice but to put you on a psych hold. What? You can't make her stay here. I'm afraid I can. Right now, your wife is a danger to herself. My job is to protect her. Earl, back and forth. No. Dr. Charles, what are you doing? Come with me, ma'am. Come with me. Hey, what are you doing? You can't what are you doing? Here. Dr. Charles, you can't keep me here. Get off of her. Mind if I come in? Not at all. You okay? Oh, you mean that whole thing down there? I, mean, I wish I hadn't come to that, but uh, yeah, I'm fine. Didn't look that way to me. You know, we've worked together a long time, Daniel. You usually empower your patients to make their own choices. Putting that woman on a cycle? Sharon, I made a clinical decision for her own well-being. Don't know what to tell you. Look, I know watching Cece go through treatment has been very hard on you. It's making you feel a little helpless. But bringing your emotions to work? It's outrageous. I what recourse do we have? My husband's talking to our lawyer. We're going to sue you. 
That won't be necessary. I'm releasing the site called You Can Go Home. What? I'm discharging you. You're free to go. Okay. Well, good luck. I hope you feel better. Follow up the neurologist. Stay on top of those labs and um, keep me updated as to our progress. Of course. Thank you.